YDOT has issued wind closures to light high-profile vehicles since 2011, but how light is too light? Low over risk can vary depending on differences in vehicle shape and size, loading weight and distribution, road geometry and surface condition, wind direction and speed, and even driver experience, making weight thresholds difficult to determine. We haven't done weight-based wind closures in the past because frankly we didn't have the research available to us to make these um, decisions. So the University of Wyoming has done some fantastic research. Dr. Nori O'Hara is the principal investigator on this research. We're using his research to make improvements in our systems. With a better definition of light, YDOT is now issuing weight-based wind closures for vehicles with enclosed trailers under specific gross vehicle weights, which should keep fewer vehicles off the road while reducing crashes and closures. Now we're being very specific, and so we're giving the truck driver a much better information about whether they should be driving on a, a segment of roadway or not. We believe that if we can prevent a blowover, we can also prevent the number of road closures Weight-based wind closures aren't limited to commercial vehicles. Private vehicles hauling utility trailers or campers are also vulnerable to blowing over. If we have a weight-based wind closure in effect, and they're a high-profile vehicle and their weight of the vehicle is less than that, it is illegal for them to travel, and they are subject to fines. Reminding you, when in doubt, wait it out, and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.